Gotta crack open the water. Put that down real quick. Today, I wanna talk about how this camera right here, the X100V, changed my photography. Not for the bad, not for the worse, but the good. So, my photography, I'd say, I've been, you know, I was pretty, I do at least once a week, like every weekend I go take photos of my girlfriend at the time and my friends, of course, and we, we just have fun, honestly, and I love that. I love my Nikon D3400. I have it right here. I love this camera. I picked it up recently and I was just playing around like, these images are really good. These JPEGs, the greens, so vibrant. I love this camera, but I felt like, hmm, I want to see what Fujifilm has, has to offer me at least. And you know, I fell into the hype. People were like, oh, get the XE4, the newest one. Always get the newest one, because the new gear, yeah. And I was like, okay. So I went to Best Buy. I accidentally bought the X100V because they didn't have XE4s and it has two more megapixels in it. Nikon, I was like, it's just two megapixels, that doesn't really matter. But the JPEGs is the film simulations, the 4K, everything about this camera is just amazing. And it honestly, it made me want to pick up my camera more and just take photos with it. And this whole book right here, this whole photo book, literally, this cover here, the back, I can go to a random page right now. Literally, random pages. This whole book I shot with the X100V. And that is crazy to think. Like, I didn't switch cameras, I didn't rotate cameras. It was just one camera. I shot a whole book with one camera. And if that doesn't motivate you to at least pick up the camera, or even get an X100V at least, or even get an X100 in general, I don't know what's going to motivate you. But this camera really changed my photography. It made me really just get in there, you know? Like, I'm just carrying it around. I'm confident with my work. I would just go click, click. And I would just, I would love the images. Like, I actually, I yearned to, I couldn't wait for the weekend so I can go shoot. Cause you know, I work a Monday to Friday job, you know? That's, you know, the, the trap, you know, the matrix. And I just, I would just be like, huh? At my desk, like, I really want to shoot. I really want to take pictures with the X100V. My Nikon, I felt like that. But this camera, it just, it just feels so low key. It's sneaking away. Like, yeah. Nobody knows I'm really taking photos like that. Like the shutter, like, there's no sound. Let me see. Hold on. Let me just switch it to. I'm over right here. Can't even hear it. So I, I could just take sneaky photos like this. Or. And nobody would know. And that just got me comfortable and it just helped my work. It helped me just become a better photographer. At the end of the day, how my friend summarizes his little rants, his things, his talks, his TED talks. At the end of the day, well, at the end of the day, find a camera that you're comfortable with. Find a camera that makes you want to go outside and just take photos, even go inside. Just find a camera that you get excited to just take pictures and post work. That's all that matters to the end of the day. Just go outside, be the best photographer you can be, and just love life. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You're the best. I appreciate you.